I guess what really bothers me is how he handled the situation, at least in the beginning. It was like one of those movies where you just have to laugh at society for how they try and solve the problem. Am I allowed to badmouth the government? I wasn't prepared. I thought I was. But when shit hit the fan, I crumbled like so many others. I was just lucky enough to find a place to hide during the panic. I think the only time I lost hope, I mean, really lost hope, was when I watched a group abandon one of their own simply because they didn't think that they were worth their time. I couldn't help them. I was barely surviving as it was. But they had food, gas, medicine, stuff none of us had back then. And they were just abandoning the old, the sick, the weak. Zombies? Yeah, I had to kill zombies. Had to kill people too. Zombies were easy. You didn't feel any remorse from pulling the trigger or swinging the hammer. It was people. Every time I was forced to kill someone, I knew I was lessening the chances we had to survive. As a species. <laughs> as a species, we'd never been united. I was assumed if something of this magnitude were to occur, we'd just drop the issues and try to survive. But just like in every single zombie movie ever made, people are cruel, selfish, and eager to tear down the constraints of normal life. I watched us burn this world because we couldn't drop the petty shit. The, uh, the woods aren't as dangerous as they used to be four months ago. You know, there was attacks every day. Even after the surge, when that horde of 600 tried to overrun the town, there have been, I don't know, you know, maybe 17 sightings since then. You just keep sweeping because, well, that's it, just, just cuz, you know? I'd say after the apocalypse, most people died Four years later, when we got complacent. I mean, what does that say? Even during an apocalypse, people can get comfortable. We, we shouldn't be the dominant species of this planet anymore. But I'd say in a positive light, it does mean that we're able to adapt. But in a more negative light, I, you know. Oh, check it out. Lucky us. Looks like we've got one here. All right, stand back. Oh. All right, let's go. Yeah, I, I worked closely with the president during the whole collapse. Uh, I was a key part of his administration, even before the whole apocalypse. I, there wasn't much I didn't know, really. Uh, he tried so hard to make control. Uh, he was inspirational to everyone. I mean, even people outside of his party. The courage it took to make the decisions that he did, decisions that cost, and saved thousands of lives. I mean, to make those decisions, meanwhile, the country is tearing itself apart with an economy that's collapsing, public favor and opinion of complete anarchy, and the dead starting to rise. Uh, and then the vice president blows his brains out. I mean, Jesus, I, 
I didn't know if he would be able to handle all the stress by himself. <clears throat> Besides our government going to hell, I, I don't know. I, oh, and, and don't get me started about those m military apes, okay? They may not have always had the itchy trigger finger, but they damn near always, always went with the aggressive attack plan. Cost us a lot of lives, and, well, anyway, besides our government going to hell, just try to comprehend what people were going through. People were still living normal lives. They still had to deal with a lot of shit. Jobs, mortgages, school, all this while the country is tearing itself apart with news and reports of zombies ripping through the countryside. And then it just fell apart. I, uh, <clears throat> I had to try and get Congress to meet with him after we relocated during the collapse and nearly five-six of them didn't even make it out of Washington within the first three weeks. Uh, you know, that that's the kind of shit we were dealing with. We were this close to a dictatorship or at least the, you know, political definition of a dictatorship. There's there's no way around it, really. The, the world went to hell. France, nuclear wasteland. China, their population's almost gone. A billion people, just like that, gone. And we were really lucky that we got off so easy. I mean, we were almost entirely decimated, but we've begun to thrive again, albeit slowly. I used to live here, before it all went down. This whole neighborhood was a thriving suburb. I wanted to be a singer, back before it happened. I used to dream about being on stage and winning awards. But after it all happened, all I can ever dream of is the massacre. It happened in the church. I was on my way there to hide with the rest when I started to see the carnage. ever prepares you for violence. I never thought about death. Why would I? I was 23, I was finally getting my big break. Then the whole world ended. I'd heard the rumors, I mean, who hadn't? But when the collapse came, it wiped away everything but death. That was all that was left for any of us. To be honest, I never thought I would make it. That's terrible to say, especially with the millions of people who thought the same thing and made sure it wouldn't happen. I never wanted to kill myself. I just always had that nagging thought in the back of my head that there was no way I'd survive. The whole entirety of our species doesn't just withstand the face of extinction and then walk away unscathed. I saw so many people just fade away after the war was over. I mean, what's harder than being thrust unexpectedly from normal life to the intensity of a zombie apocalypse? And how about going back to normal life after that? There is no normal life. Not after what we've been through. In the end. I've been hearing that phrase ever since we declared it safe. Nothing ends. Especially not this.
talk, he walks He says sit down, it's just a talk He smiles politely back at you You stare politely right on through